everyone, and welcome back to Napoleon Total War with the Era's Mod. Last time around we had two battles where we saw off an attack by Sardinia on Marseille. Uh, the battle went quite... it was quite difficult, where uh, we almost at one point lost the entire army, if not for the general shoring up the troops again. And then we had the battle which I thought were going to be more difficult up here, or po po potentially more difficult, uh, turned out to be the easier of the two battles. Um, with that, what we have set for today is for the last army that hasn't moved. Everyone else has moved, right? So, you've moved. You can move, but there's no point in going after these and leaving the area open and of course all the armies along here have moved and I also in between camera uh, shots moved this force right here so what we have left now is for you? Napoleon's force to cross the river go ahead and attack the Mecklenburgians and take over Oldenburg so Let's go ahead and do just that. Napoleon marches across, meets the Mecklenburg army quite far from its own homeland. So it seems like uh, my assumption really about the smaller nations being blockages for the larger ones doesn't seem to really hold through. If Mecklenburg was uh, ready to march through all that territory to come towards me. Uh, in terms of forces, we are about equal. The enemy, of course, is going to get a reinforcement of about 600 men. So that will be a little advantage for them. However, of course, they are facing Napoleon with his... Uh, where almost every single unit in his army is a guard unit. Um, notable things to mention here, which I hope I set in play, is that Jipilu has been moved from the 93, 93rd Regiment now to the 1st Lancers instead. Um, but that's about it. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and fight Mecklenburg. The battle is now underway. We can see the Mecklenburg army is coming on on their side of the road. We've got the Hanoverians coming in to aid them over on the right. I've got the Guard Brigade moving up here, uh, the artillery pieces have set up, or at least one of them. The Old Guard artillery piece is currently uh, in a duel with the Six Pounders over here. And we've got the Non-Guard uh, Brigade moving in here. Uh, the enemy seems to be moving towards more towards the Guards. And what it looks like is they're gonna end up in a choke spot trying to go around the impossible terrain here in which case I'm gonna allow them to do that we're gonna have the Trillier Chasseur block the area and then I'm gonna bring the rest of these guys around to then come in to flank this entire force as these guys set up oh we've got um, enemy cavalry turning up But they're going for the lights. The 12 pounder will move back to save itself. Um, we're moving up the um, the Mamluks to deal with them. Right, the uh, Trillier Chasseur are now dealing damage to the four infantry that's coming through here. We can hurry these guys into position here to start moving on the flank as the enemy seems to be pushing rather hard and the cavalry to come up around. They're going in for a second charge on the square. The um, Mamluk will retire. The enemy is now... They marched up real close to the light infantry before they start to uh, return fire. I don't know how long... The light infantry will definitely not hold out for that long. Um, 
So we need to get those guys in order quickly. I'm going to bring 12 Pounder all the way up in support here. Their entire force coming down. I'm going to put the Mamluks down in the corner here. Oh, we're losing a lot of light troops here. I'm going to order the brigade up real quickly now. And I'm going to get the two cavalry units to come up behind. And then it looks like we're going to shift a bit of troops to face the oncoming attack. But then also... Oh! Then also facing a little bit of the troops that are coming on through here. Uh, we're holding on, and my troops coming in from the flank, they're bringing in cavalry here. They are able to come through. We've got lancers. Thing is, of course, we don't want to strike too soon here with our troops. You know what? Let's get the Mamluks in here and we strike the enemy from two sides. Cannon deploy. Are we losing tons of men here? I think this old guard unit will be moved around here and you will, I guess, hold in the woods for now. Heavy cavalry retire after beating those guys off. Cavalry fight over here. We've started firing over here, but I'm not sure if we've done enough damage to this troop to uh, be able to bring in the Lancers in an attack. I'm gonna bring up two cavalry units. Uh, my nine, ninth light was broken, but at the same time as uh, the heavy cavalry squad was broken as well. The Mamluks chasing after. Let's order the old guard to move quickly. I want canisters straight forward here. I want the guard set up on the flank here. As soon as possible, if you please. To fire through here. As the enemy's light decides to charge the guns, I will count the charge with the flankers. Alright, these guys are being broken completely now. I'm gonna order in the lancers. Uh, the Mamluks will continue on to the guns and my old guard cannons will focus in on the enemy over there. They almost had t loaded their bloody guns to get back on them. This unit is not happy with this situation. Pull back towards the woods. We'll set the guard in between. It fired well, and then we'll order them back like that. Uh, the Lancer strike went in. The enemy is now being broken up. I'm going to order in the rest of the brigade to charge. The light troops no longer needed here will come around to aid on this side. You're back on the guns. I want canister through there. Good fire. Alright, the heavy cavalry will move, ready themselves for an attack through there. We might actually bring Napoleon forward. Napoleon, of course, is immortal. He cannot die, so... Let's have the lancers chase these guys down. Well, this brigade has been successful. Uh, we'll march through. The uh, Mamluks will be ordered back. Light troops coming through here, setting up on this side. How's it going with the canister? Have you been able to fire anywhere? Yes, you have. But the enemy general got killed. Which one? Where? I'll move the cavalry back a bit further here. They're charging down. 
You know what? The troops are coming closer to um, the uh, light troops. Those are the ones that we need to deal with. The lancers cut through there. Have them and the Mamluks ga gather over here. And then the four units. We can have, you know what? Isis Grenadiers can move up through there. And then the rest of the units will move through and meet the 13th, which is over there. And then we don't want to be setting up within fire range of the 13th, so... You know, with a canister range of uh, 75, I thought it'd be very unlikely that I'll be, be able to use it in a good way. Um, but the enemy here has obliged by going very heavily on the attack here. They did force me to push back on the line as uh, they were pushing so hard and the light troops have lost about half of the bloody manpower. The enemy is kind of stuck down there. Um, fire on this. Let's see, light troops, if I can order them more quickly into position here. Right, the enemy is broken in terms of uh, the canister shots. I don't want to call in the Karaziers without hoping to completely annihilate the units on this side. But um, I think we'll do. We'll order them forwards here. And then we'll swing down, one against the Hanoverians and one against the Mecklenburg unit over here. Most of the enemy here is now starting to break. Change to round shot, fire on these guys. Um, I guess this brigade is receiving fire from the 13th at this point. Also, as there's a cavalry charge going down here, we're gonna hold fire. Daggy Chan will strike at the uh, Hanoverians. And the uh, Musketeer Battalion in the woods getting attacked. I will order the two guard units forward. This one's lost a hundred men. And this one's close to lost a hundred men. Cavalry uh, having struck the enemy really hard. We'll reposition these guys a little bit. And then we'll order these forward. These, of course, are rifles. So they can sit far out of our range and do quite a bit of damage on. They've rallied a gun in the woods, but it's just a crew. And without their actual artillery, uh, it's kind of pointless. Two guard units setting up to flank fire into these guys. And then um, the 5th Cavalry will join in. And then finally the Hanoverians were broken. We need to be plenty within range of the uh, riflemen. strike them in a good way. Actually, maybe not. We've taken a lot of fire, so... Set up earlier. Got the cavalry coming through. What's this? Um, they had hidden... Uh, a Dragoon Squadron. It breaks quickly, though. Let's see if we can't get the lancers into a position to strike. The enemy's artillery is broken as well. Most of these units are very unhappy with what's going on here. Two heavy cavalry will go after the enemy's uh, voltageers. Push through there. I doubt the enemy will stand here for much longer. The lancers have come around. 
One of the few units that are standing strong is the Musketeer Battalion that's standing down here. That is true, but the battle is soon over and you can rest afterwards. Okay, they've realized that the uh, Lancers have come in. And the unit gets completely pummeled from the back. And soon enough, they'll be forced to retreat. At the same time, most of the units over here are falling apart. Yeah, the Lancer broke them. Most of the fire is firing towards here. Let's order the heavy cavalry, even though they're really tired at this point. We'll order them to strike. The enemy breaks in anticipation of uh, just hearing the heavy cavalry come at them. Uh, most of the enemy army is now on the run. We have, in fact, won the battle. The enemy's general staff remains, though, and it looks like he wants to tangle with the Lancers. Well then, sir, if you intend to stay on the field, but I'll have to force you off it. Forward. We've given that we've given him plenty of chances to leave the field. Yet he remains. We are not in the business of killing generals, but um, he keeps staying on the field. Anyways, there's only the general left. I have won the battle, in fact.
Here's the result of that battle. We deployed about equal forces. I lost a thousand men, they lost three thousand. So I have two thousand two hundred men remaining. And the enemy has eight hundred men remaining. We had one unit break. But otherwise everyone stood their ground. It is the Lancers who killed the most at 480. Followed by the two Karazir regiments. The 1st and the 5th. And then we have Trillier Chasseur de la Garde. That is uh, bringing up the kills for the infantry. And then in 6th place we got the 12 pounder cannon. So canister has definitely been reduced in usefulness. So you cannot no longer rely on it as much to win battles which is uh, which is definitely good because i mean so often you rely on canister to you know rake in thousands of kills and here even within good range and so on i was a little bit skeptical at first about the range you know 75 that's half the range or of the muskets um but yeah, uh, I think it looks pretty darn good as we go through. And we just beat the Mecklenburgians. Mecklenburgians? General survives. I would pursue them, but I'm more interested in actually gaining the territory. Um, I'll demand surrender. And we'll create it as its own state. What kind of troops do we get? Uh, Regiment Oldenburg. Not particularly good regiment. Not something that I will put in Napoleon's army. Do I have... I probably don't have the possibility of trading with this nation. Because, yeah, no, I cannot actually trade with this nation. I would have to take this area to be able to trade with them. Which we're sure enough to do. I'm gonna order these guys through I'm not I'm not sure where we're gonna put them. Put them in Belgium. We're receiving um pretty good resupply. We'll put ourselves in between the Hanoverians and the town. Oh. Oh I put myself over in Hanoverian territory. So it doesn't go along the river then. God damn it. We'll miss out on a turn of reinforcements. Oh, it's that close. It goes that close. Oh. Um, right. Ney, of course, coming through here. But he actually, we cannot pursue an attack on Hanover for Marshal Ney because the Prussian territory is in the way. Might be time then to declare war on the Prussians to take that territory. Although, maybe we should refocus instead the efforts. I mean, I'm not going to go to Saxony. So, Ney should instead focus together with Suchet. And they should focus in on the Bavarians instead. So, we'll move down here. Need to be sure that I stay within territories. It seems... I don't know. It, has, it sort of feels like some borders have changed. Or maybe they haven't. Or... It's just that I can't remember them when I can't actually see them. It seems like the border would have gone along the river. Huh. Um, that means that Napoleon is actually within reach of them, the enemy of attacking him as well. The Hanoverians could gather a force and attack Napoleon. Uh, we do have a small force of Austrians here. I'm not too worried. I'm hoping they skedaddle or f screw off. Theirs is actually where these guys should go. Join this force. Right. There's no more moves to make, so we'll have to end turn. And it'll be interesting to see what the enemy does at this point, because we have a lot of uh, possibilities. Like, the Hanoverians could rally their troops and attack Napoleon, because he's technically on their territory. Uh, these guys could, you know, attack here, and just to screw with me. The Sardinians could rally again to come at Marseille. And then we have a large British contingent 
that is moving here. They hold no territory, so eventually they'll be broken down, but uh, they are in possession of attack and so on. And the Portuguese have been have had enough time to build a new full stack and could very well be marching on Madrid once more. And not to forget the fact that Rowan Hill has landed in the north of Spain. Um, with that said, let's go ahead and end turn and see what the enemy comes up with. Tons of troops being recruited. We've got uh, some in Spain. One unit in Spain, to be sure. And then lots down here in Provence, in Marseille. Where uh, we now bulked up quite a bit. Uh, the Sardinians did rally their troops. And looks to be coming at us for a second attack. But that's not a very strong attack. Especially since... Sul has now gained quite a bit of reinforcements. He controls a full stack at this point, and he's got uh, quite enough troops to break those guys down. Um, Agent, oh yeah, I moved him over here. Uh, Ney will go ahead and march forward. He will strike at the uh, Bavarians. Is it that I can't see the capital because I can't click on it? But it's clear that we are open for an attack on uh, the capital. We got cavalry in two units. It's enough to hold it. I unfortunately think I have to send some of Suchet's troops over to deal. Actually, you know what? These troops are supposed to go probably here anyways. His ar Suchet's army will be filled with all these random German units. Um... So in, I think in between episodes, I will conduct an attack with Sushet to break, um, what was it, Karl von Österreich, I think it was, that holds, he's in control of this army. Uh, Ney might strike at the bridge, but I think if I strike at the bridge, they will bring in whatever is in the town. Um... So, that's probably not a battle that, yeah, that's not a battle I would conduct off camera. It's too big of a battle. But so we got that set. Napoleon lost so many troops that he will stay in Oldenburg and recover uh, before moving on towards uh, the Hanoverians. There's quite a lot of Hanoverians. They have the equivalent almost... Of three full stacks. So it would take quite the effort to try and break those guys down. So we'll hold off on that. He might need quite a bit of reinforcements to back him up. Uh, for the second battle for this episode. What we saw is uh, the British are coming down. So they seem to be heading towards Madrid. So I would have plenty of time to try and stop them. What I think we'll do is we'll do what we did um, rather than try and defend the town. We're probably better off trying to defend the bridge and hold this army off. Of course, at this point, the canister is no longer as effective. So we cannot expect to completely stop the army. But I could hopefully savage some parts of it and uh, allow for us to have an easier time defeating them. Um, I'm also thinking the Sardinians, that's off-camera battle. We've got the Portuguese and the British. I think this battle, where Grouchy marches out, takes out this British force, that's off-camera. But Davu versus Alfred Gore, that is this uh, episode's Second battle. The British outnumbers us by a thousand men, but they have no artillery and a single unit of cavalry, which also happens to be their general. Uh, the battle marker puts it at 50 50. I think I have a good chance of victory. Right off at the start of the battle, the enemy throws away its general. There's a cavalry charge early on against this 
Fusilier line and we've also started fighting around this house. I've put the ninth, so uh, that would be Yangban and his troops are taking position in this house. We are bringing up a six pounder battery to aid next to that. In terms of otherwise, we've got one brigade of line infantry right here, another one here, and then we've got the grenadiers out here. Uh, two units of cavalry, dragoons, and hussars out here. Tunai and the eight pounders gonna set up in between. Uh, we got Davu right here. It's gonna set him up behind the house next to Gilly Flowers. Hussar over here. I'll order this brigade forward. We've got a wall that we can hold right here. And then plus, of course, uh, quite the good defensive position within this house where uh, Youngban is setting up with his light troops. About to get the six pounders ready and we'll be able to send away uh, the first enemy unit. We also have now fighting starting here. Uh, the Grenadiers have uh, started trading fire with enemy troops out here. I'm gonna order these two forward so that we meet the oncoming Grenadiers over here. Uh, of course I've got quite a bit of cavalry just going to set up in the flank. Canister is going to roar and absolutely destroy this unit. And hopefully, you know what? I need uh, this 8-pounder uh, set up right away. We've got Gilly Flowers just in case the enemy gets close enough. And the Hussars here would be ready to strike from the open ground at the enemy. It's probably firing towards the flank of the unit. Would rather have them fire towards the center. Right. Hold fire and then select target. Actually select target over here. That's a pretty good target. We do have Yeah, some of the units, to get to some of the positions, I ordered my troops to run, which have left uh, a few of them quite tired, but I needed to get into positions rather quickly. We're definitely outgunned and outnumbered here. I do have the 8-pounder which we're going to soften the target over here before the cavalry strikes. We're going to have to nigh fire up the side and get that foot. Um, going all good along this line so far. Um, but I see the break happening to start with over here. Can we get, hope for a good strike to unsettle the entire line here? Oh, we have lost a lot of men out there focusing heavily on Mayovsky's regiment. It's already lost close to 100 men, which isn't great. And the 8-pounder shot in the first round here didn't go as well as I'd hoped. Oh, the enemy is gathering a lot of troops here. The men are fatigued, sir, and must rest a while. Here comes the next one. Come on, give me. Ah, they moved. The uh, shots are not as good. The thing, though, is when they're moving, they're obviously not firing, which gives us a slight advantage here. Um. What are these guys doing? They're coming straight on. Hold fire, switch to canister. And we have quite the attack going on here. I'm gonna put Gilly Flowers behind the cannons. I'm gonna see about striking through there. Hussars heading out here. I guess the six pounders is within uh, canister range again. 
the two cavalry units will move to attack. Yeah, everyone's fatigued. Dragoons strike. And the Hussars will strike the weaker target. I need to check what's going on here. The enemy is standing right in front of the canister. I want the Hussars to strike here. And after a full round of canister shots, Gilly Flowers will be ordered out. Hold fire. Um, it's actually the Hussars that win their fight first, which I didn't expect. I thought it was going to be the other way around. Gilly Flowers move out and charges. And the cavalry now meets each other. The entire brigade will advance. The enemy is broken by canister over here as well. Cavalry will continue on onto this unit. And there's going to be one hell of a slaughter here. Right, this part of the brigade will be ordered forward. And the entire Grenadier Brigade will be ordered forward. Looks like the entire British force is uh, falling apart. Which is good, because I'm going to have to relocate these forces to meet the new British threat that's coming on. And also the um, the Portuguese that will renew their attacks on us. Make sure as few of these um, come out of here uh, intact. Breaking down all these units. I do not want to have to fight any of them again. I think at this point it's pretty risky. I'll order Tanner to hold fire here. And we'll just have general advancement and the cavalry riding the enemy down. And there we go. We have ourselves yet another victory.
Here's the result of the battle. We absolutely destroyed the, the British. They lost 3,000, almost 4,000 men out of the 4,000 men deployed. Only 500 make it out, close to 600. While we lost uh, roughly 500 men. It seems to be a theme in this video and the last, the first battle were um, more difficult than the um, the last one um, where we are quickly able to uh, send the enemy away. Gilliflowers kills the most with close to 600 followed by the Hussars at 540, Dragoons, Hussars and so on. Um, Gilly, no not Gilliflowers, Majovsky Having lost 76 men, still inflict 227. And then we got the two cannon systems being able to fire canister. I mean, they, you can't get better, better canister targets than they got. And still, you know, they end up in 6th, 7th place. 13th managed to kill 160. Didn't lose a single soldier. They took well cover within the house and for the rest of the army if you're interested there we go that and uh, oh we even got a battle marker for that I'm not gonna pronounce even try to pronounce the battle of the mines the mines of Moria call these mines um, we're gonna try and chase these forces down or if I should immediately now actually backtrack and march to Madrid the Portuguese are about two turns away um, it might be better for me to march directly towards that so just to reiterate we'll have some battles off camera Grouchy uh, clearing out the British as much as he can second Sardinian attack that's Definitely non th not something that I, I need to show. Dealing with this small Austrian force, same there. And that's about it. There's probably going to be some troop movements. The uh, militia. I don't know where to put the militia. Currently, I'm recruiting Old Guard. I'm thinking of uh, recruiting another general. This guy. I'm pretty sure he's... Uh, like specifically for the or like kind of old guard general I think I remember one of the few multiplayer battles I played in Napoleon Total War 3 and I picked like an old guard army group or whatever and I think I had this guy's general but I'm not sure so I think that could work out we have two um, one of these is an imposter and I'm kind of guessing this guy, because he doesn't have as many stars, and he's a lot cheaper. Um, he also looks kind of Prussian. But that might be, uh, I don't know. Anyways, that's what's going on right now. And as of yet, I have yet to choose a um, one of the non-member units who's going to get that. That's going to come later on. Um, so I haven't done the drawing yet. I'm still waiting for more uh, applicants to come in. More suggestions. Uh, so as they start to thin out. Um, I'm going to uh, set, it, set everything in order. And then choose which one of these uh, that will get its name. But with that said... Overall, I think we did well today. We managed to get another area under control, which means that we have 22 left, I believe. And with that said, I will say, as I always say, hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and hopefully I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye.